Okay, I just cleared so much memory from my SD card, but I hope two hours is enough to film this video. Hey guys, it's my family here, and today I'm going to be filming a video, a very long-awaited video, explaining why I left school. Also, I just hit 200,000 subscribers. You guys would have known if you guys follow me on Instagram on the screen right here. I did a live stream, and I talked to you guys when we hit 200,000 subscribers. I'm very, 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 very thankful. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I actually don't know what to say every day. I think so many times about how grateful I am for you guys. Thank you guys. But now that we got that out of the way, um, I just want to tell you guys that. So if you guys also, again, don't follow my Instagram, you guys wouldn't know this, but I left school. I'm not sure how long ago, I'll check. I left school 19 days ago, and I put on my story, my Instagram story, that I would explain to you guys and make a video about it, and you guys could expect a video. But I never really got around to making it. I was expecting to film it that week and get it up or maybe like that day. I really just don't know what to tell you guys. I'm gonna try to explain as best as possible. I haven't thoroughly explained this to anybody. A little bit of context for the people who just subscribed and don't know. I used to live in a small town of 10,000 people and I lived there my whole life. And just recently, this August, I moved to Edmonton, which is a city of, I don't even know how many people, but it's a lot bigger than what I was used to. And I don't regret moving here at all. That's not what I'm trying to get at. It was different. And of course it was different. I was expecting it to be different. And my plan was to do online school from the beginning. I wanted to do online school because I feel like it would be better for me. And I just didn't want to go through the hassle of having to make friends and adjust to new teachers and all that stuff when I'm in grade 11. That's kind of a big switch. I thought online school would be better for me because I know that if I want to get something done, I can get it done. And I was planning on traveling. I'm a very independent person, so I work better independently. And that was just my plan. So I was planning to do online school. And also, I live here in Edmonton with my sister. We both have a condo, and my parents live back in my old town. So my mom told me that she wanted me to go into a real school because she didn't think that I would be capable of doing online school. So she kept telling me, do real school, like go to a real school, do public school, because that's just what she wanted me to do. My mom usually never asked me to do much, and she asked me, she begged me to go to a public school, so if she never really asked me to do much, I thought might as well try it, and if I don't like it, then I can do online school. That's always an option. I made my mom happy, um, and the day of school, I we came up and we registered for a school, and it took a while to process because they were super, super busy and they were already full. This is a school of 3,000 people and they were already full. My school back in my old town was 350 people. So it was a huge change anyways, but they were full and they were super busy. So they told us to come back the next day. So we came back the next day, got me registered for school, but the school was so full that they had to switch my courses around and I only had three out of eight of my classes for the whole year round. So I would have had five spares. So that's how my classes were looking the first week. So they did adjustments and they kept doing adjustments and by Monday of the next week, I finally had my classes. So I missed a whole week of school right there already. So when I got into my new classes, I had a hard time catching up because the first week of school is when you learn what you learned last year. And I have the worst memory ever, so that one week was really crucial, especially for like chemistry and stuff like that. I was, I'm so bad at chemistry and I had chemistry class and the first week is when they learned all the basics and everything, the definitions of everything, how to find everything. And I was really behind, but I managed to catch up. My grades were about out of 70 and that's not bad. But ideally, I would like my grades at an 80. That first week that I went to that school, I met probably 20 subscribers, and it was absolutely insane. So if you guys go to Ainley and you guys are subscribers, I love you guys so much. I met a lot of subscribers, and we had volleyball tryouts too. So I showed up to volleyball tryouts. I was late, but I showed up. And I ended up making the junior team. And on the junior team, I had girls on there that were subscribers too. Shout out to you, Susie, and everyone. But they were subscribers, so... Word spread around very, 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 very quick that I was a YouTuber. It's not where you guys think it's going. You guys are probably thinking that I'm gonna be bullied and all that stuff. No, it's actually the opposite. Um, everyone was talking about it and 
everyone then would know me or introduce me to people as hey this is my fam she has 150,000 subscribers on youtube she's met post malone she's met all these celebrities she's partied with post malone she's a youtuber she's famous she has blah 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 followers on instagram and i know what you guys may think may be thinking like oh my god like that's the best thing ever like everyone likes you and you know you made friends so fast but the thing is nobody really wanted to get to know me everyone just knew me as the girl with that many like the girl with that number and the girl with that number and the girl that's met all these celebrities and people kind of just saw me as clout i know that sounds stupid but seriously literally that's that's how they saw me i didn't really trust people um of course i was nice to every like i tried to be nice well i would like to think i was i don't know maybe sometimes i come off as rude because i just have the you know i don't give a fuck attitude so i was still obviously nice to everyone but i it wasn't my goal to make friends it was that was never my goal going into this high school it wasn't my goal to make friends it wasn't my goal to make close friends it was never my goal to go to parties and you know have a social life that wasn't my goal because i knew that I had better things to do. When you join high school, especially like right in the middle when everyone already has their friend groups and stuff like that, it's definitely a lot different. What I was used to back in my old town was everybody knew each other. You would walk down the halls and you would know every single face. And if there was a new face, you would know that there's a new kid. You knew every single person and you'd grown up with them since grade one. We were all so close. I literally, I love everybody back there. So if you guys are watching this, I love you guys all so much, but that's how it was. And when I came here, it was like, it just kind of got super tiring n knowing that the person you may be talking to might just be talking to you so that they could have followers or just say that they're talking to me. And I don't know. If you guys did what I'm about to say, don't feel shitty. I would understand where you're coming from, but just my first and second week there, I got asked so much and they'd be like, oh, when are you going to follow me back? Can you follow me back? When are you going to post a picture with me? Can I get a shout out? Can you take me in your pictures? Can I be in a vlog? Just all this stuff because people were just so interested in my followers and my subscribers and it got super, super, super annoying. Most people find school bearable or fun is because they have friends there and because they get to hang out with their friends and then school is just the second thing. And to me, it was more like, I don't care about my social life. I could care less about making friends and I could be doing online school right now. That was basically what was going through my head because I would have so much more time on my hands and just be less stressed out if I was doing online school. And I was trying to make school a better place and something that I enjoyed going to. And back in my old town, something that I like I love doing and I still love doing now is vlogging and especially vlogging at school. If you guys watch my old high school vlogs, you guys knew how much I vlogged at school. Yeah, I loved vlogging. It was okay at my old school if I vlogged, but I just didn't show like the school name and you know, I made sure that no teachers were in the background. So I thought it, it was okay to do that at my school. So I vlogged and it was a really good vlog. I was really proud of it. I thought it was a good vlog and I uploaded it. If you guys didn't watch my video yet on why I was suspended, you guys can go watch that. The link will be down in the description box below, but you guys can watch that after this video. Right before I got suspended, if you guys were able to watch the vlog, I was, um, that night that I was vlogging, I was at the Starbucks and I was studying for like hours and hours and hours and hours until closing time of that Starbucks, catching up and catching up. And that was like my peak of motivation. And when I got suspended, that shit went downhill. I didn't want to go to school anymore. I had a volleyball tournament, so I was already missing school from that. I missed the first week of school. Now I miss another three days of school from being suspended. Like, I don't think you guys understand the stress that was on me. And it's also not very motivating knowing that the school isn't supporting what you're doing. I kind of just stopped wanting to go to school. I didn't really see a point anymore. My grades were going downhill. And when you go to an- when you- come from a school where you, my old town where you know the teachers you know how they taught you personally have a connection with them and you come to a new school and you're missing a bunch of school for one and you don't have a connection with the teachers it's really hard to like be there in class if that makes sense like your body can be there but your mind's not there as much as i look at the screen i won't understand because i just it's different i don't know really how to explain it but yeah basically 
my motivation went downhill. And I have never talked about this on my channel. I've talked it all about this on my Instagram just a little bit. But um, if you guys didn't know, I'm not gonna, okay, I'm not gonna try to self diagnose myself or anything like that. I, I've gone to a doctor once in my life, and that was last year. And about a year and a half ago, I was very, very, very depressed and suicidal. And I fucking hate saying this on camera because I don't want you guys to feel bad for me. I don't want you guys, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want you guys to be like, oh my god, like, I feel so bad for you and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's not what I'm trying to get at, but that's what, I, that's what I'm going to tell you guys. So, I was really hitting an all-time low. That was a year and a half ago. And then I would say it was getting a lot better about six months ago. I knew that... When, you know, I got suspended and stuff like that and my motivation was hitting an all-time low, I knew that there's a chance that, like, I could really hit that rock bottom again and be depressed again. And I was feeling depressed. There's a difference from feeling depressed and being depressed. I was feeling depressed and I knew that if this kept going, I was going to be depressed. And depressed my is not good whatsoever. I would go to school and I would sit in the classroom and... <laughs> Edge Miranda, you would know this. I sat next to him in LA and I'd be like, I'm done. Like, I don't want to be here right now. And, and even my math teacher was like, what's wrong? You could tell that, that something was wrong. And on October 4th of this month, I showed up to school and I had LA first and I told Edge, his name's Edge. I told him, I was like, I'm done. And he, I guess he like thought I was joking or something, but I was like, I'm done. I'm like, I'm so done. <laughs> And I had a math quiz and a chem unit test or whatever. So I had LA, math, chem, and then gym. Well, m lunch in between that. So I went to math. I looked at the quiz. No idea what the fuck was going on. And I looked at it and I just stared at it. And I stared at it for the whole class till the bell rang. Went up, handed it to my math teacher, and he was like, what is wrong? And I told him that, you know, like, my mind isn't here. Like... There's nothing that he can do about it. As much as he tries, it's not him. It's not the way he teaches. Like, it's he. It's not about that anymore. It's about something different that he can't change and he can't help me with. And he stressed me going to a counselor and stuff. I knew what I wanted to do and I knew what change that I needed in order for me to be happy and that wasn't it. So he was like, all right, well, I hope to see you in class tomorrow. Haven't seen him since. After I handed the test, I called my mom and I was crying and I was just telling her like I want to do online school, I want to do online school. I told you from the beginning that I want to do online school and she was trying her best to encourage me to stay in school but I told her, I just kept telling her I'm not going to go to school, I can't anymore, like I don't want to. So for the next two weeks, I stayed at home and I didn't go to school because my mom needs to sign forms, unenroll me out of school and she just didn't have time to come up here. So for the next two weeks, I didn't go to school. Just recently, she came up and she signed the forms for me to unenroll out of school and I registered for online school now. I will be doing online school because I do still value um, graduating and having my diploma because if, if the reason why I didn't want to be in school was because it was so hard, I would have been doing Dash 2 classes. I wouldn't be doing the Dash 1 stream. I would have been doing Dash 2 classes just so I could pass, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the courses that I know that I could succeed in and do them the way that I want to do them. And I knew that that best way would be online school. I want to summarize this video for you guys because I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. No, I did not leave school because I'm having YouTube as my full-time job now and I'm just gonna drop out. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I'm gonna do online school and be happy and have more time to do YouTube and travel and do the things that I love. If I can do school online and do it at my own pace and have extra time instead of going to school and waking up at 6 a.m. and getting on the train and going to school and getting home at like 7 p.m. because I had volleyball also. That's so much of my time. And if I can save time and be happy and do the things that I love, might as well choose that option is basically what I'm saying. But I hope you guys really do understand. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video. I just want you guys to know that I still do value education. I really do. 
and I'm going to be going to school. I really want you guys to get that in your mind. I'm going to be doing online school and maybe next year or for the last semester of grade 12, I'll go to a real school. My social life isn't really that important to me. I feel like with high school, the whole part of high school for a lot and a lot, it's a majority of the kids is kids. I'm still a kid. Basically go through all these experiences to find yourself. High school is that time to go through all these experiences. To trust yourself basically. If you can't trust yourself, you're always going to doubt yourself. You're always going to need validation and opinions from others. That's why, you know, there's so much high school drama and all that stuff. And maybe pff, a couple incidences, but rarely ever am I ever involved in drama. It's just something that was never important. Like, I don't know, some people find it unnecessary to, you know, have attention around them like that. And that's really negative attention. I don't know why you would want that anyways. But again, I know I mentioned this a lot. I've mentioned this a lot, but high school is for finding yourself and trusting yourself and being able to make decisions on your own and experiences, and you know, all that stuff. But I feel like with me, everybody knows this about me. Even my vice principal told me this in our meeting. She said, I feel like if you want something done, you will get it done. If you have your mind set on something, you will get it done. And everyone around me knows that that's who I am. And the reason why I'm like that is because I don't care what people think of me. And I'm so glad that I learned that so early on in my life that I don't need to, I don't need people's validation. I don't need to care what people think about me. I don't need other people's opinions and that I trust myself, I trust my decisions, and I'm a very independent person, and so many bad things have happened to me, but I'm very glad that they have because they've shaped me into the, like, per the person I am now, and I've learned to be confident and trust myself and have validation in myself, and I've saying this so much, but I don't think you guys understand how important it is to find yourself, and the earlier you trust yourself, the happier you'll be. Once you guys stop seeking validation from others and caring what other people think, you guys will be so much happier. That's all I gotta say, I guess. This this kind of turned into a freaking like a TED talk, but I can make a whole nother video on that, on how to stop caring about what other people think of you because I feel like once you stop caring about what other people think of you, it's so different. You are gonna be such a more happy person you're gonna stop comparing yourself to other people. Like, oh my God, I'm rambling so much, but I can make a whole nother video on that. But I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I really do. Yeah, that's it for the video. Follow my social medias, I guess, on the screen right here. And that's it. I'm sorry I rambled so much. Bye.